Hello and welcome to my All Seasons Lemonade Stand. So for today's video, I'll be doing another sunscreen review. So let's get started. I know I've been on a short hiatus again, but... <laughs> oh, I just got so caught up with schoolwork. I, I basically had a paper due almost every week and... <laughs> I hate writing paper so much to the point where I procrastinate till the last minute and I hate it. I just hate it. I just hate it. I'm so glad I don't have any oh wait no I have one more report to write ah okay anyways no no more essays this essay like papers to to write but you know I'm I'm almost done the school year but you don't really care about that stuff. So let's get started with the first sunscreen, which is 3W Clinic Intensive UV Sunblock Care. So that's SPF 50 plus, PA plus, 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 plus. I think all of the sunscreens today that I'll be reviewing are all SPF 50 plus with a PA rating of four pluses, yes. So, I don't have to say it every time. <laughs> so the filters I will put on this side of the screen or this side. I don't know. We'll see. Um, I'm so bad at editing. Also, I don't really have a good editing software. <laughs> I basically just use um, iMovie on my phone. And does, does anyone know any good software editing, video editing software that's good? You know, I could add in. A bunch of stuff like graphics, um, sound effects, memes. <laughs> because I want to put that, you know, I want to make my videos more fun. And I feel like iMovie is just very limiting. So this is a hybrid sunscreen. So it also includes um, physical filters, not just chemical filters or organic and inorganic filters. Like titanium dioxide and zinc oxide. Or just zinc yes okay key ingredients red ginseng extracts so that's good for antioxidant aloe it's good for soothing no alcohol it does have added fragrance the perfume I don't really like it I didn't like it at first it was very off-putting and strong and just not pleasant in my experience so I don't know how to explain it. It does have a little bit of floral in there, but I don't know if, if anyone knows how to explain this, this scent, but it's not my favorite. Texture is like a, a gel cream. Ease of application. I say it's kind of questionable. It, it does apply smoothly on the skin, like it feels smooth, but I find that it's hard to blend in everything into the skin. like. You see in the video in the clip that i'm showing that there's some spots that i'm missing it's hard to fully blend in which is kind of weird but yeah the finish is more matte it's more mattifying so i found that it was too drying for me and there is a chance of a slight white cast because of the physical filters i feel like that's why it was kind of hard to blend everything in see but this one was not tacky or sticky like the usual hybrid sunscreen, so that surprised me. And this was the most affordable one out of all of the sunscreens. I think it was like seven, eight dollars for 70 milliliters. So this one is the best in terms of affordability. So yeah, that's that. Next up is Frutia UV Shield Sun Essence. And the filters are here. This is also a hybrid sunscreen. So the physical filter in this is titanium dioxide. It has a bunch of antioxidants, like fruit. It has a bunch of fruit extracts. It does have grapeseed oil. And I think that might be um, an essential oil. So if you're sensitive to that, I don't recommend this. Also, it has niacinamide, so that's good for brightening, anti-inflammatory properties, um, fighting acne, 
a little bit. Yeah, no alcohol. It does have fragrance. Um, it's very fruity smelling. Not that kind of fruity. <laughs> um, yeah, it smells like fruits, but it's a bit strong. It's very um, it's kind of pungent in my opinion. Yeah, it's kind of pungent. Like it doesn't smell sweet. Um, texture is also a gel cream, but it's pretty heavy. Like it's very thick in comparison to, to all the sunscreens that I'm talking about today. Ease of application. In my notes, I said no. Where I found some spots hard to blend in. It was not that smooth in in blending in my skin though like it didn't feel smooth when applying it on my skin which is kind of typical of like sunscreens with physical um, filters so i didn't really like that and the finish it had a dewy glowy finish and it feels pretty tacky also can leave a white cast so this was not my favorite in my opinion so i will not be reaching for this for my face i will be using this for my body so i don't <laughs> waste sunscreen or money but yes okay next is sun cut kose sun cut super waterproof perfect uv protect essence so i don't have the bottle anymore i have finished all of it the filters are here so it's an all chemical and or organic filter sunscreen okay so the key ingredients it has a bunch of flower extracts um, which can serve for antioxidants and soothing stuff like that um, it does have alcohol it's very you can definitely smell the alcohol in it you can really smell it no added fragrance but i did find that it had like an after smell sometimes slight smell of old milk in my opinion i know it, it it did not smell good sometimes like i had a whiff of it and i'm just like mm -hmm. it does not smell very pleasant the texture i think it falls under gel cream but it's definitely has the most gel texture out of all of the sunscreens i'm reviewing today ease of application i think it was good the only thing is it can pill if you let it dry down and you're still rubbing it in your skin. I think the trick with this one, because it's it's marketed as waterproof, so basically means it's water resistant. There's no such thing as waterproof sunscreen, but yeah, it's basically water resistant. So I think once it settles in your skin and then you rub in your skin, it's gonna pill like crazy so that's the only thing i found i found it weird because when i reapplied over it the, sa the same sunscreen i reapplied over it it didn't pill unless it started to dry over again so that's the trick to the sunscreen is you have to make sure you spread everything in before it dries down otherwise it's gonna pill so that's the thing with the most waterproof sunscreen i think also i didn't get to mention it but i did put it in the description of my previous sunscreen video the verdio one that also pills if you let it dry down and you're still rubbing it in your skin so i think it's good for like an outdoor sunscreen but i'm not sure about everyday use for me next is I'm gonna blast through these. Okay, Isehan Sun Killer Kiss Me Perfect Water Essence. These are the filters. And I was pretty surprised that it was a hybrid sunscreen because it's pretty smooth. It's pretty smooth. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty smooth when spreading in the skin, but yeah. Some of the ingredients include hyaluronic acid, so that's good for hydration, um, aloe for soothing. No alcohol in this one, which is good when you compare it to the Biore one, but I, I don't like the Biore one. I didn't like it. I actually like this one better. So yeah, 
no alcohol if you're looking for that but it does have added fragrance and it smells like it has a very strong smell of citrus root it's very strong i think out of all of the sunscreens, not the sunscreen sticks, the sunscreens, this has the strongest smell, yes, citrus roots, okay, and it does linger a little bit, this one, um, texture, gel cream, more on the gel side, again, um, ease of application is okay, I don't think it's the best, um, as you can see in the video, I don't know if it's because I apply too much or I don't know but you can see that it's it takes longer to spread in the skin so it might leave a white cast because of the titanium dioxide so same for these ones okay um finish so dewy glowy finish I liked it like it wasn't too glowy so I, overall I, I I liked it the only thing is the scent if it didn't have fragrance then i think this is a good like outdoor sunscreen i think it was like can count as outdoor i'm not sure but it had that feeling it had that feeling like that it could be water resistant when after i applied it it wasn't necessarily sticky maybe a tad bit tacky with this one and that might be because might be because <laughs> might be, be <laughs> might be because of the titanium dioxide. This was also affordable as well. <laughs> so yeah. Okay, next is the skin a thousand and four. Is that how you say it? Skin one zero zero four. Skin a thousand and four. Okay. Madagascar Centella Hyalusica Water Fit Sun Serum. So I actually really like this one. I also like how it has a little pump, but this one is all chemical slash organic um, sunscreen. I, I don't know why they call it serum, sun serum, because when I think of serum, it's mostly liquid. So the ingredients, the main ingredients include centella, camellia leaf extract, so that's good antioxidant and soothing properties. Also has hyaluronic acid, glycerin, which is good for retaining moisture, I think. No alcohol and no added fragrance, but it does smell like BOJ, Beauty of Joseph. It smells exactly like BOJ. It's a pretty similar sunscreen to BOJ, so if you like BOJ, then you might like this one as well. The texture is a gel cream. Application was good. It didn't take too long to spread in. It had a natural finish, and I think it's slightly more natural than the BOJ one. I think that's the only difference I could find between the two. But for me, that's what I found. The only thing with this is it slightly, it slightly creases in my eyes. The same thing happened with the BOJ one where it creased in my eyes. So, that's the only thing and this is um, less affordable than the rest of these sunscreens I think this one yeah it's the most expensive one out of all of them I can't afford I got this for I got this as a gift from Stylevana they're doing like a whole promotion so I got it for free but I don't think I can afford like to re you know repurchase it but I, I really like it is nice besides the creasing in the eyelids all right my favorite one is skin aqua super moisture essence and this is the original one i did review the gold two times already <laughs> i re-review it re-review it anyways um so the filters are here okay it's an all chemical organic sunscreen it has hyaluronic acid and i think that's just that's basically the one of the ingredients that i can point out without any added benefit i think it's a pretty like simple basic sunscreen to use so it does have alcohol 
which I don't really mind. Honestly, I find that I enjoy sunscreens with alcohol more. It has no added fragrance, so if you have tried the Skin Aqua Super Moisture, I think gel, it smells exactly the same. Like it has like kind of like a milky smell. It's not too strong. It doesn't smell like old milk. It smells just like normal milk and it's, it has a subtle scent to it. All right, so texture is a gel cream, but I think out of all of these sunscreens, this is the one that's more on the creamier side. Ease of application, I find is good as well. So it doesn't take too long to spread in. And it's very smooth to, to blend in the skin. Finish, I find it's natural to glowy. I think the main difference... Oh, that was not a fart. That was this. <laughs> I think the main difference between this one, the original one, and the gold version is that this one is just slightly, very, 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 <laughs> slightly more lightweight than the gold. So that's why it leaves more of a natural finish. I forgot to add that this has Tinazorb M. Also, these both have Tinazorb M. Tinazorb M is a hybrid filter, so I think it's like a mix between a chemical and a physical filter. Yeah, because of the Tinazorb M, there is a slight chance of having a white cast with them, but I feel like you have a smaller chance of getting a white cast with these ones than with these, which have like, <laughs> which, which have um, physical, actual physical filters like zinc and titanium dioxide. These tend to leave a white cast more, whereas this one, like Tinazorb M, there's less. It's less likely to happen, but there is a chance. So just look out for that. But yeah, this is basically, I really like this a lot because I, I don't really have any problems with it. So that's why it's, it has been my favorite and it, I think it will always be my favorite. So those are all the sunscreens, but I also have sun sticks. So first, let's start with this one. So this is the Farmstay Daily UV Protect Sun Stick. Three filters. It has licorice root extract, which can be brightening and soothing. It also has glycerin. All right, so I've seen a lot of people say online that in terms of sun sticks, when the oh my god, I can't wait. when the stick is more translucent, not like this. It it looks like if you know what the abib sunscreen looks like, like that. You can kind of see a little bit through it, but not fully translucent you know that tends to be more on the glowier side like more heavy less mattifying whereas the sun sticks that are opaque like this one can't see through it they tend to be more um, mattifying and more lightweight that is not the case for this one that is truly not the case for <laughs> for this um I feel like it's because it has pure coconut oil. It says right there, pure coconut oil. Okay, I'm not gonna focus, whatever. Pure coconut oil, it says right there at the front. Look, I reapplied it and this was like more than, uh, <clears throat> more than an hour ago and look how greasy I look. Comfortably zoom in, but look. Do you see how greasy it is? I don't like this. I don't like how it... Like, I like having a glow on my face, but not to this extent. Like, it's just, it's too much. Look at it. And I find that when it's like, when there's a little bit of a breeze or it's really windy, it'll be like, you know, my hair is just all over my face like this, right? And then this happens. You know, it sticks to my face because it's so sticky and 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 greasy. 
that's why I'm, I've only been reapplying it when I'm staying at home because I don't really care if someone sees my donut glazed face in the neighborhood but I just basically been using that when I'm just reapplying you know at home and I just need to walk the dog or something like that that's when I use it now this one I like a lot better this is the nature republic sunstick california aloe fresh powdery sunstick why is it sunstick twice hey okay. anyways those are the filters it also has aloe which is like i said soothing and it looks like this it has a little cap on it like the isn't tree one it has a cap too and this is also opaque Okay, so it looks like that. Oh, I forgot to add this one. It has added fragrance. It has a very strong scent of like flowers. Like it has a very strong floral scent. And it does linger. Like I can still smell it on my face when I do this. <laughs> I can still smell it, yeah. So that's, if they toned it down a little bit, I think I would have enjoyed the scent better, but it's too strong for me. This one does have um, added fragrance as well. And it does, it is like a more floral fragrance, like a floral scent. But I feel like it's more subtle comparison to this one. So I kind of like this better. Also, I don't think it's mattifying in my opinion, but it does have a more, it does leave a more natural finish, natural to glowy finish or dewy finish, whatever. Yeah, but it's not too much. So I kind of like this one better. I've been enjoying it. I usually use it, you <laughs> I use this when I'm on the go, you know? I also like how it has, you know, it's wider so I can, it's faster when reapplying because it covers more surface area on the face whereas this one it kind of takes forever because you know it's tiny it's tiny and, and it can fit in your can fit better in small like pouches or purses but it takes longer to reapply in terms of pricing this one is more expensive so but it is more elegant in terms of the formulation this one is, the only thing with this one is it is more affordable, but I'd rather not repurchase it. I just, I didn't like it. I didn't enjoy it. So, all right, that's basically the end of my video. I hope you found it helpful, entertaining, whatever. I will see you, wait, that's not my outro. <laughs> Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.